Now they are reacting to other forces. Yep, there we go, because more knight errant is going to come in. And there they are. The ghost finally, finally vanished. Let's do an overwatch, because more of them will be coming in. And in the meantime, our sniper drone does exactly what it's supposed to do, sniping. Uh, we are giving it a little accuracy bonus. And Isabel moves all the way down here. If we're clustered up, uh, clustered like that, it's not too bad because if someone's uh, throwing a grenade at us, we're going to be fine. The other team's key adept is moving in. And they will probably take a lot of, um, lot of shots at this key adept. Yep, the sniper drone is pretty damn good. I like the damage output. Good. Moving forward, there is a ley line over here, which we may use to our advantage. Unfortunately, it means standing in the open, which is never a good idea. Can't use our grenades when there are other people in melee. Unless you're that guy and just throwing them regardless. Oh my god, and we're getting pounded. There we go, we're, uh, he's down. But thanks to Dog Wagon's basic trauma kit, we survived the incident. Gotta get out of there though. We can't continue staying uh, right there. Nope, can't heal. Because we don't have any recent wounds and I think we're also out of med packs yep well that's a shitty situation to be in because now we can't use him anymore unless we want him to die but we do have a group of other runners so we should be fine for now and we have an overall solid position might as well just use it Isabel tries to mark this guy. Marked him successfully. And now the two key adepts are fighting with one another. Let's take our drone, which finally kills this guy. We're going to let it fly over there. Yeah, I would like to stand in the middle here. But that would be a bit suicidal. I 
I did not want him to move. Oh, that's a mistake. Isabel moves. And let's use our grenade thrower. Yeah, you should have given Gaichu the four armor. He needs it. Unfortunately, you can't control the enemy. The AI is pretty good in focusing, by the way. So once your targets are low, they will start using it to their advantage. Nah, we can't. We can't charge in. I, that's not going to work. We can't charge in. Okay, so reloading the weapon. Fair enough. Isabel needs aim. There we go. And instead of reloading, let's just kill this guy. Yep. Nice. Oh, pretty tough fight. But overall we did well, so time for our teams to get out of here. The Aris run, uh, run takes much longer than expected. Oh, we have even more company. Uh, company. God damn it, this is a long run. Yeah, rounds until the doors open. Perfect, good. That means we need to hold up just a tiny bit longer. If I'm not mistaken, they were coming from the south. Time to increase our armor. And get into cover. Yeah, there's the next force of uh, Knight Errant, and as you can see, like you don't want to uh, go into a large uh, corporation. They just have more manpower than you, and at some point you're being worn, worn down and tired. Can't really hit anyone. So might as well go for an overwatch. Our drone, however, can be positioned to here. Yeah, the shuriken are not far enough. We can't, we definitely can't hit anyone from here. So I think we could theoretically, oh wow, 38, uh, 36 hit points, that's a lot of damage. But the positive part is we can heal one wound. Yeah, Gaichu can already leave. Can't use him in this fight. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we got new abilities. Uh, damn, I should, I should have used them earlier. Sh shoot a remote mine. And well, let's try that. Oh, nice. Nice. Never seen that ability before, so that must have been our new skill that uh, we've gotten with her. Let's focus on trying to hit the flanked and exposed targets. There we go, one down. Ouch, I think their key adapt might be about to die. Move into here so that if someone is throwing grenades, we can essentially throw them back. Giving our sniper an accuracy bonus. And we're taking the shots into light cover. Not optimal. Ooh, we could summon a spirit. That indeed would be good. Slowly moving there, I'm trying to summon the spirit. Yeah, they're uh, pretty well co um, in cover, so I can't use grenades without essentially hitting the uh, key adept of our, uh, of our other runner team. Well, that's one of them down, and uh, the rest has taken some damage as well. Move into here so that we can summon the spirit next turn. Mark the Knight Errant target. And let's try to hit him, our sniper drone. Has a good line of sight and 12 damage uh, for a target in uh, cover with armor isn't too bad either. So the N uh, the NPCs have used up all of their consumables, you can see that, because uh, now they can't just heal themselves. Which means the enemy is starting to win the War of Attrition. Good. Petrified one of them. Killed the other one. And I think we can snipe him and end it. There we go. Whew. Time to escape. Not all of the Shadowrunners have made it. The other team is already worn down. Now, since both of us are uh, trying to get um, the same uh, piece of data, uh, I think it was a laser and, and uh, the research document, uh, documents around the laser, we are in a tough spot. 
So how are we going to share? And that brings us to the moral dilemma. Uh, dilemma. Do we uh, do we want to kill them or do we want to split? Last time I split uh, because I thought it was fair. They pulled their weight. This time, because we're more greedy and I want to see something different, we probably need to bunk it out. It should be a four versus uh, three, if I'm not mistaken. But we're also down one drone, so it's not that we're that we have full resources. There we go. Just flat the complex. Good, we kept all of uh, the loot, and unfortunately that also means we gotta escape uh, on our own. And we're still not done, no? This is a long ass mission, and a dangerous one on top. Yeah, there, there were additional security forces right over there. Got to move up there. Okay. Nice, we got ourselves a med kit that is helpful. Perfect. Last time I couldn't um, turn down the uh, the secondary system, so I'm not sure what exactly that did. But there is more night errand over here, that's for sure. Don't remember. Has there been anything of importance or value right here? I don't think so. I mean, we could ambush them, but we don't get any loot from them, so it's kind of pointless. Well, never mind. They decided to ambush us instead. Oh, because, because Isabel has been running around the other way. Well, that was a stupid mistake. Okay, time to pause our wild reflexes to go off. And we even got both of our drones back. Well, that is cool. Unfortunately, our team is not exactly like fully positioned together. All right, moving Isabel as well as we can. And our Doberman drone is going in a tiny bit closer. There are three Hellhounds also coming from the south. And thanks to our cyber arm, we are not the target of grenades. We can take over uh, that ghost.
Moving in. Um, and let's steal the ghost. We can, by the way, summon one ourselves, which is great. But for now, I think we just want to get into cover. Good, we got this guy here flanked. There we go, 25 points of damage, perfect. And our stolen ghost just starts with a nice little fireball. Followed up by some more fire damage. And there are the hellhounds. Maybe we should have saved our time, uh, our fireball cooldown. Because that would have been awesome if we could have launched it right into all of uh, the dogs. Time to hit the Knight Errant Conjurer. All right, end time to go for our grenade. But before we do that, let's give Isabel a bit of aim. And now we need AOE damage. Straight into the middle of the dogs. That was awesome. That was 50 damage right there. Conjurer is down, which is perfect. And that's a second uh, one down. I don't want to charge into the docks. That would be suicidal. So we're just going to keep it low, increase our armor, and just wait for them to come. The docks only can uh, attack us in melee. And they are nicely lining up around the fire elemental. Which begins to cast. Unfortunately, we don't have the fireball. That would have been too valuable. Nice. All right. So that's a lot of damage. Great. More aim accuracy for our drone. And Isabel reloads. And shoots the grenade right into everyone. Well, that was incredibly valuable. Yeah, let's hit the guard dog first. And now it's a perfect moment to get aggressive. There we go. He lost his cover, which we can follow up with a full auto. Two nice hits and our drone should do the rest. Sniping shot. 30 damage on a flanked hit. Uh, that was great. Okay, that fight overall went pretty well. But I think, and that's the sad part about it, it's still not over. All right. 
right sniper drone is sitting here. We're still in the preparation phase. Isabel gets some haste and there are, there are even some turrets here so we got to take that fight seriously going for control mode all right one more turn and now that everyone has their ability points uh, action points we can move in Doberman moves in And Isabel, I think, opens up with. Uh, before we do anything, wait a second. She has aim accuracy, that's fine. The drone needs aim accuracy as well. Well, I guess that's just as good as it gets for now. Very solid hit. Almost thinking we might want to do that again. Moving in. And uh, let's spray them. So yeah. It hit at least a couple of them. Our sniper drone does not have line of sight. Ah, that is unfortunate. Might as well fly over here, really far away, and take a shot. Could have been a crit. Unfortunately, just missed the mark. Good. We are reloading. Doberman is moving back a tiny bit. And Isabel shoots right into cover. Yep, that worked out very well. Uh, before we snipe, let's start and use our melee attack because with melee attack, uh, once we hit, this guy is out of cover and that means uh, we can actually hit him even better and flank him even. Oh, and I now also understand what the generator did. And the generator just powered down uh, these cannons. That is handy because the sis uh, the cannon systems were pain in the neck. All right, moving everyone just a tiny bit closer. There we go, that should be it. If I'm not mistaken, we're finally done after one and a half hours of running the Aris Megaplex. I will probably cut that video in a half, to be honest.
And that's the other runner group. Well, here we go. Moving into cover, <laughs> one last fight. Boy, oh boy, this uh, mission is long and tedious. Moving into cover again. Yeah, we got to take cover over here. That's a nice hit. I think we're going to give ourselves some armor because I don't want to be completely blasted down. Sniper drone takes advantage of the flanked target. Do we need to heal anyone? No, not yet. Let's give the sniper drone an aim accuracy. That's fine. All right, our Doberman drone moves in. And we're going, we're going for the back line, very much so. Giving Saiken some extra, uh, some extra action means he can use his weapon to uh, to actually hit them, and it seems. As if the sniper drone has it pretty much under control. There we go. They were worn down from uh, the actual run. And we could make short pro uh, process. And after a long run, we finally are back home. That was a pretty difficult uh, one overall. It was much easier with the mage because we had way, way more um, sustain. So that's a prototype sniping a laser. This uh, heavy laser rifle has a low capacity, pierces up to two armor, slightly more accurate, and it's worth 2,000. So well, that's pretty damn good. Good. That was important, by the way. We just got an action point. So what does uh, that mean? Uh, officially, we're now entering kind of uh, second half of the game, uh, which means we, by definition, have or by default, have three action points. Uh, so a lot of uh, the uh, combat maneuvers that weren't possible before are now possible. For instance, uh, Sparklight can control both of his drones and at the same time act. And we can upgrade our team. Uh, Goblet either can uh, get a Devil Red uh, Spirit Fetish in her standard equipment or take uh, the um, crowd uh, the um, terrain control. Last time I took all of the terrain control and I really never used it. So um, let's go for the spiritualist item. Uh, we're definitely taking the Jolt Alert, um, as great as Bright Light is, uh, which uh, can 
uh, which which can kind of flashbang enemies. The Jolt Alert prevents us from um, losing all of our action points. We could either uh, with Duncan get um, a shock baton or reduce uh, the recoil for full auto, which we're of course going to do. And for our ghoul, we can either get an ability 3 hit points, 1 um, AP, base damage 16, disease, which is ongoing around him. Well, that's actually not too bad. I was using the metal cover bonus the last time. I might as well try the disease uh, this time. And Auntie has called for us, so let's progress the storyline just a tiny bit further before we equip ourselves and upgrade the character. So Auntie finally um, has uh, found where the plastic-faced uh, man um, was hiding. Apparently the plastic face man is a runner himself um, and has just taken a run for our father and it is still unclear whether or not he has actually killed him. So the first suspicions arise that our father Raymond is maybe still alive. Moving to the computer open uh, jobs and we're claiming our payment 2000 yuan which is almost too little uh, for that job check for new messages we got none and post our data we're taking the rs research data that's going to be valuable so we are left with 12 karma and almost 5000 uh, nuyen So we probably go for Dodge 5, which I originally wanted to do and just leave it there for now. And uh, so we can get our cyberware replacements. And I already mentioned beforehand that we're now uh, starting to upgrade our intelligence speed because we want to go to that S tier <coughs> of drones. So intelligence six and seven is uh, coming up. Next, we do have our stash. And in there, we got a new weapon. Uh, our current weapon deals eight damage and has 24 shots with 500 nuyen. The new one deals 20 damage. Holy moly. Has a low capacity. And is more is more accurate. Range combat six and strength three. So that's a great rifle. Let's see. I mean, we don't have strength three. That's for sure. Range range combat. Yeah, we're we're getting there. We will get there. We will get range combat 6 with our cyberware. And we might need to upgrade uh, to strings uh, 3. Because the rifle is actually really damn good. So as for our um, karma, we can go for the um, we can go for the quickness and dodge upgrades now. We decided to um, to stick with five, and we're now pouring all of our points into intelligence for now, which means it's time to get some more cyberware. Wait a second, there was something to pick up. Oh, 
Oh, nice. That's a dog wagon uh, kit. That's, that is very helpful. And it's even a gold kit, so that's a free resurrection right there. Didn't even know that that existed. Uh, or that that was lying around. Normally, I know you can buy them um, from uh, from our dock here. Okay, we still got three essence. Uh, so before we go for the arm, and for the arm, uh, we wanted to take the Sedacrop skill wires. Uh, we're now going for the legs, and the legs are uh, damn good. Plus one dodge uh, and plus one quickness uh, is option number one, the enhanced uh, Bioware legs. So that's the kind of uh, low essence version. The Omnitech Cyber legs, however, uh, or even a bit better, uh, cost definitely cost more ascent. So for someone who, for a mage, for instance, it it wouldn't be a good alternative. My mage had uh, the Bioware uh, legs. Um, so, but for someone who can lose even more ascent, the Omniversal uh, Cybertech legs might be even better. I mean, it's quickness plus one, dodge plus one, and the hit points. The only thing that is negative is the Ascents cost, but we still can upgrade our Ascents plus, uh, plus one even further if we are investing more into um, our body. So we can go with one of them for now. And has our character really changed now? No. You can't see the cyber leg, but what you can uh, see is the character has a higher quickness and a higher dodge. And let me show you what I meant originally with there is probably a programming error. Uh, so if we're now going uh, to quickness, goddamn, it disappeared. So the last time I did it, uh, I swear to God, like, the bubbles um, had um, had filled uh, with um, kind of a cyber tech bubble. So whenever I wanted to upgrade, um, I needed to pay extra. Um, uh, I needed to pay more. So it essentially had uh, upgraded to six and six. Anyways, um, so that's even better because it means we can still continue to upgrade quickness uh, later in the game without any penalties. That's good, very good. We're now at three armor from our uh, dermal plating. We got uh, quickness uh, six and dodge six, which is good. Uh, once we are done with upgrading intelligence, we will continue going for, for quickness and maybe increase uh, the body just a bit more so that we can get fully decked out with cyberware. And that, dear friends, Bringing us to the end of today's episode. We're going to end at the pier. Sparklight says thank you. This double episode um, of the RS run was quite tough. Um, I appreciate your viewership. See you all in the next episode. Bye bye.